The year is 1957. The Cold War, a tense ideological struggle between the United States and the Soviet Union, has reached a new and potentially perilous frontier, space. In a secret facility hidden deep within Soviet territory, scientists and engineers worked with a singular audacious goal to be the first to launch a satellite into orbit around Earth. On October 4, a culmination of years of clandestine effort and immense national pride roared to life. The R-7 Semyorka rocket, a behemoth of Soviet engineering, pierced the night sky, carrying with it a small, polished sphere. This was Sputnik 1, a testament to Soviet technological prowess. As it ascended, its four long antennae deployed, ready to transmit its faint, rhythmic radio signal. Beep, 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 back to Earth. The world held its breath. For the first time, humanity had placed an artificial object beyond the confines of its atmosphere, circling the globe at an astonishing speed. In the United States, the news of Sputnik's launch was met with a mixture of awe and alarm. This wasn't just a scientific achievement, it was a strategic one. If the Soviets could launch a satellite, what else could they launch? Missiles, weapons. The perceived technological gap sparked widespread fear and a surge of national urgency. The Sputnik launch ignited the space race. President Eisenhower, under immense pressure, responded by accelerating American space efforts leading to the creation of NASA and a massive investment in science and engineering education. The race to the moon, to orbital dominance, and ultimately to putting boots on alien soil had officially begun, forever altering the course of human history and exploration. The beep, beep, beep of Sputnik was more than just a signal. It was the echo of a new era.